after an initial two days in Palermo sightseeing, Susan and I jumped on the hydrofoil boat to Ustica, where the Sicily Webfest was held. We had a great time for three days doing interviews and pitching our series and of course then the, uh, the celebration of the winners. And by the way, Number of Silence won for Best Thriller. <laughs> and um, so you can look for me um, as an actress on that series upcoming. <laughs> Next up, Ustica. The volcanic island Ustica is situated 32 miles north of Palermo in the Tyranian Sea. Only six miles across, it is home to about 1,300 people. Known for scuba diving, Ustica sports a number of diving schools on the island. Daily ferry service to Palermo brings tourists and day workers. I wasn't there for diving. I came to the Sicily Webfest in its second year. On the ferry, we connected with my new German friends from Number of Silence. Late Bloomer was an official selection and I was told I traveled the farthest to get to the festival. A van hauled the festival goers up the steep grade to our hotel. We immediately set off to discover the town and cool off with gelato. Founder Ricardo Canella and assistant Cristiano Vola organized great events like this meet and greet. My friend Susan accompanied me to Ustica. Next morning, breakfast was on a stairway down to the water. Outdoor lunch at Da Umberto's became a daily thing. What could be better than local island wine and lentil soup with fresh vegetables? We discovered a gorgeous terrace garden, which became the perfect location for filming our Number of Silence scenes. Later in the day, Web V Guide, which is devoted to finding and promoting quality web content, interviewed us about our series. At the next event, I saw the largest caper plant of my trip. Host Maria Cristina makes her own preserves and sells everything from capers to lentils to jars of smoked fish in her little shop. I connected with the few festival guests that spoke English. Susan and I ducked away for dinner of eggplant and eggplant. Then the pitch session in the evening where each web series creator spoke about their series. The filmmakers from Number of Silence had created a role for me in the storyline and we planned to shoot these scenes while on Ustica. After an invigorating rehearsal, <laughs> it was time for lunch, again at Da Umberto's. Turns out, the garden terrace was the home of the family who owned the restaurant. <laughs> it was sunny and quite hot on the island, and I'd somehow managed to only bring one long-sleeved, quick-dry shirt to Sicily, which I wore nearly every day. To beat the heat, we set off on a bus ride across the island to go for a swim. Excavations in the last 20 years have unearthed a prehistoric village on Ustica dating from the 14th to 13th century BC. The Phoenicians occupied the island around 1500 BC. Pirate raids and ongoing wars in the Middle Ages kept the island unsettled. 
until the mid-18th century, when Ustica was settled by a small group from the Italian island, Li Pari, who brought their patron saint, Bartholomew. Moving inland, one sees gardens and small-scale agriculture, mainly olives, capers, and eggplant. However, water is scarce, so there's a limit to how many people the island can support. Population swelled in the last two centuries, and waves of Ustica families emigrated to the United States, in particular, New Orleans. The Romans named the volcanic island Ustica, which is Latin for burnt, known locally as the Black Pearl for its black rocky coastline. Prickly pear cactus grows all over. Our destination was a swimming spot on the far side of the island, which they had been to the day before. Magdalena wasted no time diving in. A refreshing dip in the Tyranian Sea after three hot days was just the ticket to head into the last night of the festival. After shower and a change, we peeked in and the owner was freshening up his plants for the shoot the following day. We headed down to the harbor for the last seminar, and I was captivated with the colorful boats. Susan and I ducked out for dinner with a view. A few red carpet photos are always fun before the awards ceremony begins. And the winner is... Number of Silence for Best Thriller. Director Changor Dabratka racked up another award. <laughs> Late Bloomer didn't. Susan had been helpful in documenting everything, and she proved indispensable as a crew of one on our film shoot the following day. She held script, reflectors, even traffic, as Thorsten did double duty as actor and sound recordist. We couldn't begin shooting until the sun was behind our backs, so we had a lot to accomplish, six pages of dialogue, in a short amount of time. I loved working with these folks and hope my character is wildly popular so we can do it all again. At 10 p.m., we wrapped our island film shoot. 
Back at Dot and Berto's, the family marveled at photos from the shoot. Then we organized for a group photo with their fisherman in the red shirt. However, the son was missing. Soon he appeared, and we reorganized as their fisherman had his hook on me. <laughs> it was all in great fun, and they served up a last meal of fresh fish, eggplant, and prosecco. We rose before daybreak and had to haul our bags a half mile downhill over cobblestone streets to make the ferry. Dawn was just breaking as we pulled out of the harbor and headed sleepily back to Palermo, where we said our goodbyes, for now, to our new friends. <laughs>